Supply chain means that everyone has skin in the game, right? So to have better adaptability and agility throughout that supply chain, it has to be a teamwork collaboration. Real-time communication and sharing data, sharing information. If this doesn't happen, the supply chain breaks, which we saw uh, during the pandemic. Supply chain is a critical aspect of any industry. We are in the pharma industry. Essential medicines need to be available. One of the critical uh, factor in any production line, right, is the availability of the components. Whether it is actual raw material or even a bag or a container that will protect that product. We cannot have a product made if we don't have all the components available on time. Biologics is the new frontier to uh, create new drug entities, right? Uh, in tackling different disease states that we don't foresee. I think the supply chain challenge is unique to biopharma compared to you know, regular pharmaceuticals, small molecules versus large molecules, is that we have to be more focused on the cost and time factor because processing biopharmaceutical drugs, one, the cost of goods is a lot higher and the, the yield is a lot less, right? So when you're manufacturing a biopharmaceutical drug, uh, you need to be better prepared with your materials and your resources for that particular uh, manufacturing process. The whole uh, components requirement in the biopharma industry, uh, we need to have those enough stock and supply of those. We want to make sure that what is the market needs uh, what I need a year from today, what I need five years from today. I need to make sure that we have that much stock available so that when we're making a batch, we have it with us and we do not stop production because other distributors are dependent on us. Hospitals, institutions, uh, they require those products, right? So we need to provide them on time. Suncurve's role in supply chain management uh, is always been how we can do it under one roof. So the way we designed uh, Suncurve's facility is to have a flex factory approach where we have upstream downstream processing adjacent to each other where we're able to suit different needs of different technologies when we're using our reactors or uh, filtration systems and um, different utilities within a, a ballroom type of approach where we can, um, as we're doing changeovers or taking a new batch or a new product in-house, we're able to use the same space to accommodate that product. So the type of equipments we procure where we can interchange different pieces and create new equipment trains, we're able to process and package and fulfill those customer demands and release the product um, to clinical trials or even at the commercial scale. I think the supply chain challenges will always continue to grow as the demand is always increasing uh, globally for new drug entities. But uh, what we learned from the pandemic was our nation has so many vulnerabilities when it comes to uh, raw materials. I think SunCov is going to be part of a huge initiative within the country to uh, bring that in-house. So if this ever happens again, if another pandemic happens 5, 10, 15 years from now, we'll be self-dependent and not over-reliant on those countries overseas.